three weeks, your baby will sleep for an average of 16 to 18 hours out of 24. And their sleep is split between many periods of two to four hours at a time. And this is scattered throughout the 24 hour period. This unpredictable pattern of sleeping happens because your baby's biological clock is slow to develop and they're unable to distinguish the difference between day and night at this age. Instead, they rely on their tummies, their tiny tummies that are the size of a cherry to determine when they sleep and wake, depending on whether they are full or need to be fed. By eight weeks, most babies can distinguish the difference between day and night. And so they start sleeping for longer periods overnight and slightly less during the day. But their sleep is still very much fragmented and they may only be able to stay awake for short periods of about 40 to 60 minutes at a time. By three months, your baby can now sleep for longer stretches at night. In fact, we know from research that about 50% of three months old babies are able to sleep for about five hours at a time. Your baby at this age will also now be producing their own levels of the sleep hormone melatonin, and this will have a positive impact on their sleep. Your baby is also able to recognize sleep cues from you so that when you start their bedtime routine, they will automatically understand that sleep is coming. And this is a great age to start a bedtime routine if you haven't already done so. Nighttime sleep cycles extend to about 90 minutes at around this age. And during the day, naps increase from 30 minutes to around 45 minutes. Your baby will be able to stay awake happily for about two hours at a time. And we take that from when they wake up in the morning and they will be having about 11 hours sleep overnight. By six months, your baby's sleeping and waking patterns are more organized and they are able to sleep for longer periods at night. In fact, by six months, 50% of babies are able to sleep for stretches of eight hours at a time your baby will still be having about 11 hours sleep on average at night. Six to eight months old babies will still need on average about three naps a day, but by the time they get to nine months, babies are dropping down to two naps a day. So they would have one mid-morning and one mid-afternoon. And research shows that night waking is still very common in babies under a year, and it isn't until your baby is around a year old that the sleep is more predictable and you're more likely to have a full night's sleep. During the one to three year age group, most children have moved their nap to just after lunch and will be sleeping for about one and a half to two and a half hours a day. Between the age of two and three, children will slowly reduce the amount of sleep they're having in the day so that by the time they reach three years old, most children are not napping and may be having quiet rest time instead. By the time your child is four years old, their body clock is fully set and established, but they will still be needing about 11 to 12 hours of sleep overnight.